Hey there crew, Matt Vassallo here with TheRhinestoneWorld.com. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create an amazing design like this for your schools or local businesses or customers just to create something really nice that's custom, but how easy it is to create something like this in the TRW Design Wizard version 4.18 or above. So any of you that own the Wizard 4.0, we did release some new features in the 4.18 and the amazing thing about that is they are all completely free. So the 4.18, you can just go to your order history and download to the newest version and it just needs to be 4.18 or higher. And what we did is we added a couple things to the magic boundaries here and then we also added the different easy patterns patterns for the Caesar easy patterns for your different heat transfer vinyls to the software as well. So watch how easy it is to create an amazing design like this. You can see we use the basketball leather, we use the black glitter, and then we use the confetti glitter. But just to give it a really unique look that's going to look really awesome for your customers. So let's go back to this page here just so I can show you how we created this and how easy it is for you to be able to follow through step by step. So I just have basically a P right here. So what I used for the, the actual design that I created was our new TRW Basketball KO Laces font that's available on the website at the rhinestonerule.com. So if I click on that font right there, and I want to make the basketball. You can see I have a volleyball one. I have a football one. We have a baseball one. So all different kind of, and they give the knockout feature, which is a really cool and popular feature right now and the popular look. So when I click on it and I'm typing in lowercase, this is what I'm going to get. Well, what's really awesome about the software is when I come up here and click on two for a two color text, it automatically just drops that second color right on top of it. But what's really cool about all of these fonts as well is you don't necessarily have to have the design wizard to use these. You can use the um, Silhouette Studio or Designer Edition or all different types of software because the way that we create these fonts, this is the lowercase, this is the uppercase, and then all you need to do is come back and line them up like that. Okay, Ours just makes it a little bit easier as far as just hitting the two color button there. Now that we have our basketball P there, I have my pirates just typed out. Nothing special about this. I'm going to change this into a brush script font. I'm going to drag it up into this area. Let me just change it a different color now just to be able to see it a little bit better. So we have the pirates right there. I'm going to center this up a little bit and I'm going to have it come down here to near the bottom of my P here a tiny bit because what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to actually add an envelope to it. But you can see I have a couple areas there that I want to clean up. So I'm just going to hit my text space button right here. It's going to tighten up my spacing on it a little bit. You can see what that did there. And I'm going to get it out back to about 9.9 .9 inches, which is a pretty good size. So now that I have that, I'm going to create an envelope for it. So I have my envelope docker over here. I'm just going to go to the single arc and hit add new. It's going to drop this box for me. I'm going to hit control and drag this button up a little bit. And you can see when I grab that up, it's going to kind of add that arc to it. So I'm going to add just a little bit of an arc to it. So now that I have that arc on it, I just want to make sure I have this placed correctly. So I'm going to say, let's maybe move it somewhere around that area right there looks good. And then if I go behind the scenes on this, you can see I have a lot of overlap still. We're, we still have some issues when it comes to vinyl cutting. So to fix that, all I'm going to do is weld the word pirates together. And what that did is it fixed all of those cut lines right there. And then I'm just going to double click on pirates and I'm going to delete those nodes. And see how much smoother it just made that come over here, delete the nodes there. And it made that a lot smoother as well. Everything else looks pretty good with that. So I'm happy with that. So now that I have pirates there, I want to add a little something extra to this design as well. Check this out. In order to use my change artwork, I'm just going to draw a box. So basically the only reason why I did that is I'm going to come over to my live template editor for the design wizard and hit change artwork. I'm going to work out of my TRW live decal template and clip art mega pack here. And I'm going to pull one of my clip arts out. I'm going to grab a basketball player because we're doing a basketball font. So let's go ahead and maybe grab this guy dunking right here. Double click on that. It's going to swap it out with that square right there. 
So now that I have this guy, I actually want to make him a little bit bigger. And I'm going to have him facing maybe the other way. So let's just mirror him real quick. And we're going to have him kind of coming out of the top of the P there a little bit. So I would say that looks pretty good there. But as you can see, this doesn't really look that great right now. because And it's definitely not cut ready if we go to our wireframe, right? Well, this is the really cool and amazing feature we just added to the TRW Design Wizard 4.18 or above that makes your life so much easier because we are the only software that just updates things like this and adds new features. And you're the same software that you may have paid for um, six months ago if you have the version 4 upgrade. We just kind of constantly add some different little new features that help your business. So I'm going to take the pirates here and just bring it to the front. So just I just brought the layer to the front for pirates there. And then now that I have my basketball player, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on my basketball player and the magic boundary. I'm going to do a 0 .08 magic boundary. I want it to create a contour and remove all shapes behind it. So I just click on magic boundary and that's done right there. See that? Now I'm going to click on pirates and click the exact same button. And now that's done. And now watch what happens when I go to my wireframe. This is a perfectly ready-to-go cut file for me. How cool is that? Right? So this file is done. It's ready to send to the cutter if we want. So if I had these being the same colors, these two blacks right here, I could just go ahead and weld those together, highlight it, go to templates, and I'm going to do the TRW Magic Separator. And there's my three cuts right there, and it automatically mirrors it for you. Pretty amazing, isn't it? So let me go back a few steps here. And we're back to our original design now. And what I want to do now is I want to show you how we can get this. Because it's just a vector file, we can size it perfect. So 10.6 tall, maybe we don't want it that much. Maybe we'll go like 9.7, 9.5 tall by 9 inches wide. All right? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this and make it look realistic for the customer. So I'm going to click on the black, and we're going to go with the black glitter. I'm going to go ahead and click on the orange, and for the orange, I really want to get that basketball look. So let's come over here to the fashion, and let's click on my basketball leather. Look how awesome that looks. And then for the red there, I actually want to do just maybe a different shading of a glitter. We'll use the confetti, dark confetti glitter. So... There's my finished design right there for the customer. Now, if I want to throw this onto a shirt to show them exactly what it looks like, I can just come over here to mockups in the software. I'm going to do a quick product. The product I want is a women's, let's maybe do a women's tank top. Save my product. The design that I want is this design right here. Let's go ahead and save my design and create my mockup. And that's going to drop it onto my shirt for me. And at any time, you can always arrange it a little bit on the shirt. Maybe you want it to be right there. And then you can also, what's really cool, is you can change the shirt to any color you want as well. How cool is that? So the different materials and the different things I used here in the video today is obviously our Caesar Glitter Heat Transfer Vinyl. I used our Chemica Football Leather Heat Transfer Vinyl. I used the TRW Basketball Knockout Laces from the rhinestoneworld.com and that's the font i used the brush script font for the script font right here and then i used my basketball player out of the actual decal and live template mega pack which is a pack we have available on the website as well so i did provide a link to all of these items down below in the description of this video right here so you can easily get to those but if you do have any questions of course make sure to give us a call the number is 941-755 1696. You can get a 30 day free trial of our software as well on our website, therhinestoneworld.com. And you can also get a free trial of Corel Draw as well to be able to test everything out for 30 days and make sure it's going to work for you. But I can guarantee you that the TRW Design Wizard in conjunction with Corel Draw is going to be the easiest software for you to learn in the industry and by far be the most affordable and the most complex as far as what you can do with that software. So one other thing I can show you here real quick is a lot of people may not know how much you have in cost. 
our software isn't just a design software, it's a business software as well. So if I highlight the design and click on this little money sign right there, check this out. I have a dollar nine in black glitter, 61 cents in light multi glitter, 65 cents in basketball leather for a total of two dollars and 35 cents with a quarter inch margin of waste of heat transfer vinyl on this design. How much is that going to help you when it comes to pricing your products? So those are just a couple features in our software. But again, any questions, feel free to give us a call, comment below. Let me know what you think about these designs in the videos. And we'll see you in the future video here. Thanks for watching, guys. You guys all have an amazing day. We'll see you soon.